Hi everyone, welcome to my 3x3 experience and today I'm with Catherine Poe from Canada. Hi Catherine. Hello. Thank you again for accepting my invitation. Uh, in this video we will uh, be uh, diving into Catherine's 3x3 basketball teams, Team Canada. Um, you can find the first two parts of the interview in the description below. How works uh, your team? Uh, 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 have you uh, trained yourself, uh, camp? Uh, how you coach? Um, have you got a coach? Um, uh, uh, money, if you want to talk uh, money and uh, administration. How works uh, your uh, specific team? So our team, we have a coach as of this year. So prior to this year, we did not have a coach. Um, and so we coached ourselves. We were the most knowledgeable people that we knew aside from um, some of the guys on the on the men's side who knew about 3x3. Um, and so that's still a important piece of our puzzle is that we're very knowledgeable. Myself and my teammates um, are very knowledgeable about the game. Um, and so having a coach this year um, is helpful to one, take a load off of our plate of being a team, you know, like a coach can, and a director can handle, you know, like administration can handle coordinating, you know, training camps and whatnot can coordinate getting funding. Like that is not on our plate anymore. Um, in the beginning it was, and it was a lot, but I think we have people who are taking that role. Um, and so our coach, Kim Gauthier, she traveled with the team for most of the events this summer um, and was kind of filling in all the pieces of um, coordinating, um, giving perspective and feedback. And we had um, some people back in Canada during those events who were helping with video um, and coordinating um, like administration kind of things. Um, and we have a director who has a lot on his plate. He's worked as a lot of roles for Canada basketball, but he is, um, heading the vision for, for 3x3 as of, you know, a handful of years now. And yeah, our, our program is growing. Like we roll up to our tournaments with like four girls and maybe two other people. And, you know, like France is rolling deep with 15, <laughs> And so I always laugh because I'm like, oh, I wonder what they all do. But, you know, like the goal is to have more people that can help the team prepare and do what they need to do to perform on the court. So um, hopefully that grows for Canada. And, um, you know, like we have a physio that travels with us to all our tournaments now. That's new as of this year. So um, there's pieces that are coming into our team that are super valuable, but the Federation has... Um, heard our feedback of what's necessary to actually compete at the highest level. Um, and because we have, you know, we're, we're not new to the game. We know what we need to perform. And so we're putting the pieces together for sure. Okay. And, um, uh, uh three basketball team, uh, the <laughs> Canada team, it's a very special team for me. Uh, and you are not uh, like the other team in the in the court and uh, outside the court because you have a children with you a lot of time. Mm -hmm. um, um, uh, your coach as a children, I uh, I saw that uh, as a page too as yeah. a, as a children too. So uh, what is your philosophy in your three x three basketball team Canada uh, in the court but uh, um, outside the court? Yeah, um, <clears throat> I think our philosophy is one, we have fun <laughs> and we enjoy each other. Um, you know, we've had, I've been very grateful and blessed that we've had great teammates who I've been able to play with. And like, whether that was picked by us when we were in the beginning or, you know, like the, the coaches and director were involved in that process, character has been like, the main thing that I look for in a teammate is, are they a good person? Are they a good teammate? Are they willing to um, get better and work hard? And, you know, like once you reach a certain level of professional basketball, there's a certain skills, like you have basketball skills. 
Um, and then it's the other stuff that's like, can I count on you? You know, like, can I trust you? Do I believe in you? And will you be an important part of the team? Um, and I think that's a different philosophy is that we look at character. And I don't know if all the teams do that. You know, I think they have fun. You know, like I think they trust each other on the court to some extent, but we just reiterate that on our team is that we believe in each other and that we hold a high standard. And the standard on the court is like, yes, you need to do what we need to do to win. Like take your shot, whatever that is in like X's and O's. Um, but also, also the standard is, um, are we gonna communicate through problems? You know, like off the court, um, can we bring the problems to the table and talk about them? Like it's relational stuff. That's part of um, my philosophy. I can't speak for like each player individually and how they look at the world and like how they lead themselves. But that's how I look at our team is like, are we developing players to be good people? And I think that's a cool um, opportunity and like responsibility that um, I hold very high is that it's not just you're a basketball player and off the court, you can do whatever you want. Like, and that doesn't affect your teammates. Like how you carry yourself as a person in the world affects how you play on the court. Um, so that's part of my philosophy, but I think we've embodied it as a team um and it's been successful so and um maybe uh, we can talk about your results uh, because sure. uh, the last uh, the last two years you have a lot of medals yep can you talk uh, more about that yeah i mean we have been quite successful um this year and last year and kind of you know, after the first year, basically, we've um, had a lot of success. And um, that comes from a lot of reps, you know, like a lot of repetitions of playing with um, our team of, you know, getting used to what we're doing on the court together. Um, I don't even know, like, we, we just have confidence in each other. Um, we're pretty all Like we're level in the game <clears throat> and we trust each other. So that helps definitely. And we just are pretty skilled. So <laughs> we've developed our skills where um, we can do what we need to do on the court. And it's part of any, any, any team where you have, you need to work on your individual skills so that when you get to your team or if you're a part or whatever it is, like then you build cohesion. Um, or if you're training together all year round, it's like you need to put in the individual skills so that when you get in practice with your team, there's the opportunity to build cohesion and put those skills into like a team environment. Um, and so we've found what works, like we're, we're smart players um, and we're pretty versatile. And so I think it's just been cool to see um, like myself and each of our teammates grow and what we're able to do and what we believe we could do and it's been successful. Okay. And uh, now uh, science phi. Um, so uh, back to the future now, uh, how do you see the future of uh, Swixu basketball uh, evolving both in Canada and uh, globally? How do, you, uh, how do you see the future? Uh, for Canada, I think the future is that there will be more competitive opportunities for players um and I'll, I'll speak from the women's side because i don't know what's happening on the men's side to be quite honest um but for us i see like the opportunities for um players coming out of university to play 3x3 competitively because right now after university a lot of players stop playing which is what it is um and not a lot go overseas to start playing professionally and because there's no professional league in canada that's a big move for players to commit to is to move across the world and then live away from their home, be very far from home and like do only that. Um, and so I think the growth of 3x3 will just provide a way for players to keep playing in Canada and to complain, um, to compete at a high level because, you know, like university 
basketball is the highest level here in Canada consistently. And so if there was, um, you know, a way to keep playing, I think more players would keep playing. And whether that's like to pursue national team, being on a world tour or not, like I still see the value of um, playing sport and being active. And, you know, people are looking to compete because, you know, it's their nature and they're competitive people. So if they don't have the opportunity to expand and grow in an area of their life, you know, like here's sport where you can continue to do that. Um, and then in the world, like 3x3 has grown tremendously. Um, FIBA puts on, you know, like great events for the world tour. And I hope that can be for the women's as well, because like these tour stops are like, look amazing. And, um, you know, I think the growth on the women's side um, could get there, but like, it'll take time for sure. Um, but it'll also take, you know, like different uh, businesses, companies, federations, having a vision for the women's tour as well. Um, and like making it like an entertainment event, like it is the men's side, you know, like it's not because for a lack of um skill and like people wanting to play but it's also you know like how can we make um the women's sport equally as brandable like equally as entertaining um so that there are more opportunities to have big events like that so that's gonna grow i believe it um a little answer uh, what is your best uh, victory or best memory in fire uh, in six week um best victory um is probably this um women's series final um this year against france this year. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um because it's always great to beat france and um it was a hard finish when michelle got injured and so like to win it was like oh you know like it was extra like next time we play there's gonna be some heat <laughs> <laughs> so um no it always feels good to um to have like a cap on the season of like, oh, like, you know, like we finished on a win and it's always really hard. Like, it's not easy to beat any team, you know, like you can't come in thinking you're already going to win and relax. Yeah. So that was probably the highlight for sure so far. And your worst defeat? Worst was probably um, like our first World Cup, which was only two years ago, but like losing in the final was Um, pretty crappy. Also losing in this year's World Cup before we got a chance to play for a medal. Thank you, Catherine, for taking the time to speak uh, with me. Uh, I wish the best for the, for the, the next year. Uh, don't, forget, uh, uh, don't forget to like, uh, subscribe and share this video if you enjoy them. Catherine, thank you again. Merci beaucoup, Remy. <laughs> and uh, take care and bye bye.